hello so in this video I will explain you what is the lambda function before going into the lambda function you must keep in mind that uh, it is just a way of writing a function there is nothing special about it the thing is that you can use that uh, lambda function and uh, it is uh, it is uh, I will show you the syntax what you are the way of writing so let's begin with this and if you if you are not familiar with list comprehension or list or the functions please have a look on the videos which I have I, I already made um, on my channel so uh, please have a look on my channel or YouTube channel and uh, so thanks for uh, watching this video and please do not forget to like and subscribe so let's begin with this uh, list uh, say a is equal to 1491625 so this is a list and say we want to return a list of get a list of uh, um, square of the elements of this list a so we need one square uh, no say we just uh, uh, we we need these numbers so how you would get these numbers 1 4 9 16 25 we can see that these are the square of integer values starting from 1 till 5 so let's write a simple function def l fun x return x square so def is the keyword for writing a function and this is the l fun is the name of the chosen function name we have chosen you could have written anything else x you are writing because this is the input value to the function and then colon this is the syntax and after that just return the value that is x square so if you if you say run this and then write l fun 5 it will give you 25 okay so if you write 4 so this is function this is a simple function this is not a lambda function this is a simple function is written by the keyword def and you return the value like this by using the keyword return and this is the l fun is the function name which you can choose by yourself and x is the input value which you are giving to this function so you change the input values the uh, return values change so if you give 4 it will give 16 if you go give 5 it will be 25 now let's define the same thing but you we are using the lambda function so we will use the lambda keyword let's uh, let's select the name l fun for this function and is equal to lambda that is the keyword we need to use if you want to use the lambda function then write x that is the input value similar to similar to this one which we used in this diff and then colon and then write x square so if you see here then you see that uh, l fun 5 is giving 25 if you write 4 it will give 16 so lambda is also a kind of function it is similar to this function which we have written here now say we want to output uh, some values like 1 4 9 16 25 so right now the function is giving only one value at a time just give one value it will return one value just give 4 it will be written 16 you return uh, you put you input the value 5 the output will be 25 now we just want a list of all these numbers from 1 to 5 and the square of these values that means 1 4 9 16 25 so what we can do we can use the list comprehension technique and use the lambda function there let's so we have already defined this lambda function l fun like this we will inside the list comprehension we will write like l fun of i for i in range 1 to 6 so range of 1 to 6 will give the values from 1 till 5 so i is taking values from 1 to 5 and l fun of 1 will give 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square and 5 square let's run this we we'll give this value 1 4 9 16 24 so now this using the lambda function inside the list comprehension has returned us a list so we can use the lambda function in a list comprehension we can use it in n number of ways that depends on your creativity and your thoughts how you want to use it but simply uh, if you want to know that how is what is lambda function this line of code is is the lambda function 
where you are inputting the value as x and output value is x square. Lambda is the keyword which you need to use for using the lambda function. So it is similar to this function which I already told. Uh, this is def l fun x return x square. Let's now if you want to write, you do not want to uh, first uh, uh, define the function and then use that function name here. Just you want to use the keyword inside. You can use it the same. You can do the same thing like this. Write the lambda x x square and then round brackets and then x. We are using x because the output we need the result for this. Okay, so let's. So we are we are writing this because it is taking the values from one to five. Then it is a lambda function is calculating one for everything, and then till twenty five. And then we are using this round brackets and x for returning these values. Earlier l one of i was already returning the values directly, but if you want to use the lambda function directly here, then you have to use these round brackets. So now let's define how you can use this lambda function in map. So map is a function where you input the function name, function, and then you. Input the list of values. So, say you write the function f x where you are returning the x square. So this is a simple function for squaring the squaring the values. So if you want to see what does f two give, so f two will give four. So f three will give nine. Now what do you want to do? using the map function you want to create the squares so you will input the function f map inside the map and then the give the range of values from 0 to 10 so this map and then a function name and then range of list of values that is range 0 to 10 and you want to convert this map and you want the return uh, the list that's why we are using the function list so list of map Of function name and then the list values. So this is the way you want to write so that you get the list of whatever the function you have used. So you can use complicated functions as well. Right now we are not using lambda function. Now let's use the lambda function instead of this f. So what we will do? Write consider a is equal to one two three four. That is the list we will which we will input instead of range. Or if you do not want to give like this, what you can do? Remove this. Here also we will give the range, range of eleven. So as I already told, inside the map you first have to give the function. So instead of now defining the function as using the def keyword, we are using the lambda function. So the lambda function is lambda x after colon. You are using x square. So this is the function. And these are the list of values, so zero to ten. What it is doing? It is squaring the all the values. So after the map, you want to use list so that you, it win. It returns the all the values. Let's run this. So we can see that lambda function has returned the same values as the def function. So there is no such difference between the normal def function and the function using the lambda keyword. So here I have explained you that how you can uh, use the lambda function in list comprehension. What is uh, lambda function, and how you can use it in uh, map function so that you can use it. Uh, also, say now let's uh, do, let's do something uh, complicated. Say l one is equal to lambda x. X square. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's ten. Okay. So these are the values which we are taking this, uh, and then. 
and then say uh, you want to write it like this what you will do earlier you had something like this where you are returning the value x square now say we want to put some if and else condition so how you would do like this you would say return x square only if x x is divisible by 2 that is modulus x is divisible by 2 else return the cube of that number so now we have added this part earlier we had only x square but now we are saying if x is equal x is divisible by 2 only then return this else return this so now let's define this function and then see if we put the 3 value that is the odd value it is returning 3 cube if we put say 4 then it will return the square so we can integrate the if and else statement in the lambda function as well and they are in the straight in the inline uh, so this can also be integrated with a list comprehension or the map function so this is a, a compact way of writing uh, the same thing in a straight line during the uh, st uh, list comprehension and the map function so so i think it's uh, very clear that uh, what is the lambda function and how you can use it in list comprehension and while using the map function so i will be explaining more videos on uh, this uh, python programming and uh, data science and machine learning with r and python so please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching this video um, bye bye